Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the basics of Ruby programs. So we're gonna write a very simple Ruby program. We're gonna talk about how those programs get executed, the order in which the instructions in those programs get executed. We're also gonna talk about different ways that we can print things out onto the screen. So this is gonna be a pretty awesome tutorial. I'm really excited. First thing I wanna show you guys is how to print something out onto the screen. So you'll notice over here, I have my little Atom Runner output window. And in the last tutorial, we talked about setting up this basic environment. So what I wanna do is show you guys how to print something out onto this little console window over here. So all we have to do to print something out is just type print a space. And then if you wanna print out like plain text, we can just make an open and close quotation marks we can put any text we want. So I could put like Draft Academy here. And now when I run this program by clicking Control R, you'll see that Draft Academy gets printed out onto the screen over here. There's also another way that we can print something out onto the screen. So in addition to just saying print, I could also say puts. And puts basically works the same way as prints. It's gonna take whatever we put inside of these quotation marks and it's gonna print it out onto the screen. So for example, I could type my name like Mike, and now this is gonna get printed out onto the screen over here. Now you'll notice that Draft Academy and Mike are getting printed out right next to each other. And this actually brings me to the first thing I wanna talk about, which is the difference between print and puts. So you'll notice here I'm using this print command, I'm printing out Draft Academy, and then right below it, I'm printing out Mike using this puts command. And when I use this print command, Mike just gets printed out right next to Draft Academy, as you can see over here. But if I was to take this puts command and move it up here right above Draft Academy, so now the program's gonna execute puts Mike before it executes Draft Academy, what you'll notice is that Draft Academy gets printed out on a new line. That's because whenever you use this puts command, it's gonna print out whatever you put over here and it's also gonna print out a new line afterwards, which basically means that when you use puts, you can print things out on different lines. When you use print, however, everything gets printed out on the same line. So if I wanted to print out two things right next to each other, for example, I could print out something over here like is cool. Now, these are gonna get printed out right next to each other. So you can see it says Draft Academy is cool. But if I was to do the same thing with puts, for example, if I did another puts down here and I said is cool, because I'm using this puts up here, this is actually gonna get printed out onto a new line. So you'll see down here, that's exactly what happened. So that's the two different ways that we can print something out onto the screen using prints and using puts. Again, puts will print out whatever you specify and then it'll print out a new line. Print will just print out whatever you specify, no new line. So that's the basic difference between those two. So now what I wanna do is just show you how we can use these print statements to draw a little shape out onto the screen. So over here, I'm just gonna say puts and I'm gonna make an open and close quotation mark and I'm actually gonna copy this a couple times. So we'll paste this like a few times down below here. And I wanna show you guys how we can just draw a basic like triangle shape. So I'm gonna start with a forward slash down here and I'll make another forward slash, another one up here and another one there. And now I'm just gonna make vertical bars going all the way down. And I'm gonna make some underscores down here. And now we have a basic little triangle right here. So you can see I'm using this puts statement and individually on each one of these lines, I'm printing out some text. So now if I was to go over here and run my program, you'll notice that we're printing out this triangle and it looks pretty good. So this is sort of the basics of drawing something out onto the screen. I also wanna to talk to you guys about how these programs get executed. So when we run our Ruby program or our Ruby script, basically what happens is Ruby is gonna go through and it's gonna look at each line individually inside of this script. It's gonna start with the first line here. So it's gonna say, okay, the first instruction that the user wants me to do is print this line of text out onto the screen. So Ruby's gonna look at this first instruction, it's gonna execute it, and then once it's done with this instruction, it's gonna move on to the next instruction. So it's moving on to the next line. And it's gonna go ahead and execute this instruction. And then when it's done with this one, it's gonna move on to the next line and the next line, etc. So Ruby is looking through each instruction that we give it 
inside of our program. And an instruction in Ruby is just something like this. It's like this puts or that print that we saw before. And there's tons of these different instructions that we can give Ruby. But the point is, is that Ruby's gonna execute them in the order that we write them. So Ruby's gonna start with this line, move on to this line, etc. So if I was to take this bottom line here and move it up here to the top, now it's gonna execute this line of code first. So you'll see over here, we get this like funky looking shape. So that's sort of like the bare basics of how Ruby is working. We're giving it sets of instructions, right? I'm just writing out a bunch of different instructions and Ruby's gonna execute them in order and it's gonna do essentially whatever we tell it to do. So right now, all we're doing is telling Ruby to print something out onto the screen. But as we learn more about Ruby and as we go forward and we learn more instructions that we can give it, we can actually make programs to do just about anything. So as long as you can specify specific enough instructions for the computer, you can do anything inside of a programming language. And that's kind of like the core concept that I want to give you guys today, which is how these programs are structured and how to write essentially a basic program that prints a shape out onto the screen. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.